welcome to my educational show. I'm Eliza, your science buddy. Did you know that the shape of the earth is spherical? If you don't, never worry. I can help you because today's issue is about the two evidences about it from the famous Aristotle and Eratosthenes. First off is from Aristotle's evidences. Around 384-322 BC, he is the first to propose a spherical earth based on actual physical evidence. Who listed several arguments for a spherical earth? For instance, first, ships disappear half first when they sailed over the horizon. Second is that the earth casts around shadow on the moon during a lunar eclipse. Aristotle argued that the earth must necessarily be spherical because the weight of all its parts setting towards the center would naturally form a spherical shape. He also used the curved faces of the moon to argue that the moon must also be sphere like the earth. Example of the first instance is when a ship appears on the horizon. It's the top of the ship that is visible first. A wide range of astronomy texts over time used this as a way to illustrate the roundness of the earth. As the image suggests, this is exactly what one would expect on a spherical earth. If the earth were flat, it would be expected that you would be able to see the entire ship as soon as it became visible. of Alexandria estimated the Earth's circumference around 240 BC. He used a different approach, measuring the shadows cast in Alexandria and Syene to calculate their angle relative to the Sun. He presented his evidences by measuring the length of the shadow in Alexandria at noon on the summer solstice when there was no shadow in Syene. He could measure the circumference of the Earth. Aristasthenes knew that no shadows on summer solstice meant that Syene was on the boundary of the northern tropic zone, the Tropic of Cancer. For example, at Syene, the sun is directly overhead. No shadows are cast at that moment. Meanwhile, at Alexandria, the sun is 7.2 degrees south of overhead, casting shadows. Aristasthenes divided 360 degrees by the shadow angle and multiplied the above distance that obtained 39,250 kilometers of volume, similar to that is today, to calculate the length of the Earth's polar circumference. Both Aristotle and Eratosthenes have great discovery which are essential in what we believe. Now, are you convinced that the Earth shape is spherical? Tune in for our next episode on facts about the galaxy. This has been your science buddy, signing off, see you.